in love with Snowy. And Snowy came so you were so beautiful. The Labrador doggy. That's the tail to whenever I come, the top of the car runs to me. Everybody started loving him. Snowy had a huge fan following him in Ranaka. And one day Brownie came to us, to our life. The golden retriever, full of fur, filling up the whole body and was more friendly than Snowy. And everybody start, stopped looking at Snowy. <laughs> they were adopted. Brownie. And Snowy slowly felt and in that feeling he felt sick and he would never come back. Same, I think, about our Indian villages also. People look at their hearts. That borrowed knowledge. They see the all the glitters is not the goal of the city lights and beautiful buildings. But they forgot. In those beautiful buildings lies a big poison. The poison called the lone sharks. Zhuangzu was an influential Chinese philosopher who lived around the 4th century BC during the Warring States period, a period corresponding to the summit of Chinese philosophy, the 100 schools of thought. He is credited to writing in part or in whole, a work known by his name, the Zhuangzi, which is one of the foundational texts of Taoism. Zhuangzi said, all existing things are really one. We regard those that are beautiful and rare as valuable. And those that are ugly as foul and rotten. The foul and rotten may come to be transformed into what is rare and valuable. And the rare and valuable into what is foul and rotten. Hence, they call the world is round. Yes. Zhongzhu says all existing things are really one. That's the, door, the basic foundation of our Hindu religion. That anything and everything you see is one. One God. One life. And you see everything as God. Hence in the Hindu religion, anything and everything they see, they convert into God. Yes. Even their own son is God, the father is God, own daughter is Goddess, grandchildren are Goddess, sometimes the grandchildren of others go and touch the grandchildren's feet as God. When the child is born also, they give the God's name because they feel it's a God's gift. They convert a snake into and chip a stone into a snake idol and then pray. Because we all believe is one. All existing things are really one, and it's really one, yes. Neither the sun, nor the moon, the wind, nor the rain, they do not make a difference. As in when it comes, it's okay. When it doesn't come, it's okay, yes. Such was the beauty. If they smile, it's okay, don't smile, it's okay. They don't differentiate this and that. And that, this and that went from India. And now Japanese Zen follows Zen, Zen follows this and that. Neither this, neither that. Zhongzhu says, we regard those that are beautiful and rare as valuable. Beautiful and rare. From where did you get the word beautiful and rare? From the borrowed text. From the conditioning when you were born. What was your face before when you were born? Did you have a Hindu face, a Muslim face, a Christian face, a Brahmana Shatri, Vaishya Shudra face? We regard those that are beautiful, rare as valuable. That valuable and the rare came from where? From the conditioning. And it is now time that you loosen up. Otherwise, not a single grass will grow. Grass grows when, you know, when the rain comes and teva happens onto the bumi. Bumi means the land. Teva means wetness. When the wetness happens, that's why they said, the wetness is not sufficient. Only in the month of July in Bangalore or in Karnataka, they wait for the rains. That then the teva will happen this much thickness of wetness. Then they put anything, another three, four months of rain that also water, it grows beautifully. That conditioning, if it is raw and the land is covered up with a beautiful concrete slab, 
a concrete building it retains that concreteness and nothing grows in that concrete and like that is your mind we regard those that are beautiful and rare as valuable yes rare beautiful and rare is valuable we believe that is the borrowed knowledge which has been conditioned to tell you that you are hindu muslim christian conditioned to tell you brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra that you are black and white brown and yellow that can be that intelligent you come in from a middle class from a rich family from a lower class whatever that conditioning is your sickness that conditioning is made you a nobody in your intelligence you are not able to grow able that want to see the truth and see the god otherwise for there is no question and answer because everything you know it the god knows it all existing things are really one we regard those that are beautiful and rare as valuable and those that are ugly as foul and rotten and ugly how did you come to know that is ugly which is ugly even that ugly things which are foul and rotten is the same which has been produced what you eat is beautiful and rare and what comes out from from your body out as toilet is ugly as foul and rotten but the foul and rotten goes to the earth converts it as cobra they call it menu and again the tree takes it the earth takes it you call it mother earth and in the trees beautiful fruits and flowers which you cannot do it even in the lab you cannot even produce the lab neither the best artist in the world can produce it up such beautiful was the taste it brings it out if people understand that one then where is the foul and rotten the foul and rotten may come to be transformed into what is rare and valuable the rare the foul and rotten again can be seen to rare and no valuable yes the sandwiches yes it takes the waste and look at the beauty the orange trees the apple trees wow and the rare and valuable in the water foul and and again the rare and valuable converts into foul and rotten if you understand that circle you are never in a war with your family today if your wife is angry and tomorrow she shows love you must understand that is this and that all it is positive and negative only can create electricity it is an expression of their stress and stress is your choice you can take it it goes as cobra as menu let it happen because it is needed for a tree to grow for a house to grow at the end of the day you hug where there is fight no fight every fight is a purity of expression and every fight is burning it to the highest temperature the solid gold and once it melts you can make it varieties of ornaments please try to understand that one topic yes and then you can find you are in deep in love you go and hug your partner and you and your partner becomes one goes to philosophy goes to teachings goes when the marriage happens also that you both are one have you ever noticed you both is melted to become one and in that oneness you don't see bad ugly you always see it is a circle a beauty in that beauty you understand whatever happening in the joint family is a beautiful expression that you are allowing them to express into the they're suppressing it up and what all they are expressing is what is been they did not collect it was forced into them in the society where they are moving they are coming in so over here and allow them to express it up and then you all sit together to do pranayama and your jnana and the jnana you see then together you take part and sing together and their laughter goes out and then you play you see the family is meeting together without any distinction. is just the laughter and in that laughter 
in that laughter of that space, you find no past, present, future, only emptiness. And that emptiness is your family to build it up. Zhuangzi said, all existing things are really one. We regard those that are beautiful and rare as valuable, borrowed knowledge. And those that are ugly as foul and rotten. The foul and rotten may come back to be transformed into what is rare and valuable. And the rare and valuable into what is foul and rotten. Nothing is a feast. Earth is provided enough for man's needs, but not for his greed. As long as you don't have greed, God has provided everything. And Rakham School is an exception.